Christmas from your friends at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church in Fairview, Pennsylvania. It's the second Sunday after Christmas, January 3rd, 2021, and we are celebrating today with our Christmas festival of lessons and carols. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be God's creation. Amen. Dear people of God, in this Christmas season, let it be our duty and delight to hear once more the message of the angels to go to Bethlehem and to see the Son of God lying in a manger. Let us hear and heed in contemporary works of poetry and story how we recognize God's loving purpose for all of creation and the glorious redemption brought to us by his holy child, Jesus. And let us make this time and place glad with our carols of praise. But first, let us pray for the needs of his whole world, for peace and justice on the earth, for the unity and admission of the church for which he died, and especially for the Episcopal Church, the United States of America, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, Erie County, and especially our friends and neighbors in the Fairview community. And because he particularly loves them, let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and those who mourn, the lonely and unloved, the aged and little children, as well as all those who do not know and love the Lord Jesus Christ. Finally, let us remember before God his pure and lonely mother, Mary, and that whole multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in Jesus we are one forevermore. And now to gather all of these petitions, let us pray in the words which Christ himself has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Almighty God bless us with his holy grace. May Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And may the King of Angels bring us to the fellowship of citizens above. Amen. Amazing Peace, a Christmas poem by Dr. Maya Angelou. Hope is born again in the faces of children. It rides on the shoulders of our aged as they walk into their sunsets. Hope spreads around the earth, brightening all things, even hate, which crouches breeding in dark corridors. In our joy, we think we hear a whisper. At first, it is too soft, then only half heard. We listen carefully as it gathers strength. We hear a sweetness. The word is peace. It is loud now. It is louder, louder than the explosion of bombs. We tremble at the sound. We are thrilled by its presence. It is what we have hungered for, not just the absence of war, but true peace, a harmony of spirit, a comfort of courtesies, security for our beloveds and their beloveds. We clap hands and welcome the peace of Christmas. We, Baptist and Buddhist, Methodist and Muslim, say come, peace. 
Come and fill us and our world with your majesty. We, the Jew and the Jainist, the Catholic and the Confucian, implore you to stay a while with us so we may learn by your shimmering light how to look beyond complexion and see community. At this holy instant, we celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ into the great religions of the world. We jubilate the precious advent of trust. We shout with glorious tongues at the coming of hope. All the earth's tribes loosen their voices to celebrate the promise of peace. We, angels and mortals, believers and non-believers, look heavenward and speak the word aloud. Peace. We look at our world and speak the word aloud. Peace. We look at each other, then into ourselves, and we say without shyness or apology or hesitation, Peace, my brother. Peace, my sister. Peace, my soul. Dear Santa, I don't want anything for Christmas, but I would like to ask you if you can do a favor for me. Can you please find the cure for COVID-19 and give it to us to save the world? Thank you. Jonah. Dear Santa, this year has been this year because of Corona. I was hoping I could get some Lego sets because my mom said she can't get anything for me for Christmas because she is not getting paid as much so she can't afford it. Anything. P.S. I'm sorry if I've been bad. It's really hard because of COVID-19 in online school. I'm trying to be good. Hope you understand, Samantha. Dear Santa, is there COVID where you are? If not, I just want to tell you you, you that you are l- very lucky and would like a Nintendo Switch for me and my little brother. As wish, I wish COVID-19 was over so we can hug Andy. By Christina Rossetti, titled Christmas Tide. Love came down at Christmas, love all lovely, love divine. Love was born at Christmas, star and angels gave the sign. Worship we the Godhead, love incarnate, love divine. Worship we our Jesus, 
but wherewith for sacred sign. Love shall be our token, love be yours, and love be mine. Love to God and all men, love for plea and gift and sign. Have you seen the child, the color of wheat, the color of dawn? His eyes are mild, his hands are those of a king, as king he was born. Incense, myrrh, and gold we bring to his side, and the eastern star is our guide. Have you seen the child, the color of earth, the color of thorn? His eyes are sad, his hands are those of the poor, as poor he was born. Incense, myrrh, and gold we bring to his side, and the eastern star is our guide. The child we seek holds the seas and the winds on his palm. The child we seek has the moon and the stars at his feet. Before him the eagle is gentle, the lion is meek. Choirs of angels hover over his roof and sing him to sleep. He's warm by breath, he's fed by a mother who is both virgin and queen. Incense, gold, and myrrh we bring to his side, and the eastern star is our guide. On love, on love alone he will build his kingdom. His pierced hand will hold no scepter. His haloed head will wear no crown. His might will not be built on your toil. Swifter than lightning he will soon walk among us. He will bring us new life and receive our death. And the keys to his city belong to the poor. Christmas message from the Most Reverend Michael Curry, Presiding Bishop of the Episcopal Church. While this is a strange year, the ministry he gives us remains the same. We will prepare him room in our hearts by taking on the ministry Jesus demands of us. Feed those who are hungry. Welcome the stranger. Clothe those who are, na those who are naked. Heal those who are sick. Visit the prisoner. Love God. Love your neighbor. Sing joy into this old world. Prepare him room. St. Luke writes of the first Christmas. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. There, in the simplest bed, in the cool of the night, in a trough, in bands of clothes, lies the one for whom no room was made. And yet, strangely, there lies the one whom not even the universe can contain. The peace of the Lord be always with you.
our form for spiritual communion. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. In union, O Lord, with the faithful at every altar of your church, where the Holy Eucharist is now being celebrated, we desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. We present to you our souls and bodies with the earnest wish that we may always be united to you. And since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, We beseech you to come spiritually into our hearts. We unite ourselves with you and embrace you with all the love of our souls. Let nothing ever separate you from us. May we live in you and may you live in us, both in this life and in the life to come. Amen. Now let's say together the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Jesus, we want to receive you in our hearts, and we cannot do it in the sacramental way. Therefore, we ask you to come to us and fill us with your presence, your peace, and your love. Grant us, Lord, the graces we need most. Amen. And now our Irish Christmas blessing. The light of the Christmas star to you, the warmth of the home and hearth to you, the cheer and goodwill of friends to you, the hope of childlike hearts to you, the joy of a thousand angels to you, and the love of the Son, and God's peace to you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Let us go in peace to celebrate the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Merry Christmas. Oh, God.